should a bankrupt Detroit sell its treasure trove of art to pay off its debt? That question has put the Detroit Institute of Art and the tens of thousands of artworks within its walls at the center of the city's bankruptcy debate. Liling Chan paid a visit to the iconic museum to see what is at stake. Standing proud in midtown Detroit, the Detroit Institute of Art is home to one of the largest and most significant art collections in the nation, put together from the days when Detroit was wealthy and highly populated. The city's history and culture are tied into the museum's collection, as seen in these murals by Mexican painter Diego Rivera, depicting the height of Detroit's auto industry. The two main panels that were originally all that was going to be done show the creation of a car, starting with the, the molten steel. There's the, mm -hmm. the engine blocks being uh, worked on, and then oh, jump over here, and you see the, the line being completed, the assembly, and then right in the very distance, in the smack in the middle of that, is a little red car. The museum houses some 60,000 objects of art from all over the world, collected over 130 years, with works dating from 25,000 BC to more modern times, like this oil on canvas by Impressionist painter Claude Monet. Robert Tannehill, great patron of this museum, he left his whole collection, that Monet, um, three Cezannes, including a portrait of his wife, two, two Van Goghs, but a condition of the gift was that they never it, they never be, as we say in our business, deaccessioned. Deaccessioned means to remove or sell. A prospect the museum faces if Detroit tries to sell some or all of its collection to help pay off the city's $18 billion debt. The museum issued a statement opposing this, saying it will stand by its charge to preserve and protect the cultural heritage of all Michigan's residents. We believe there is a strong, if not overwhelming, case to be made um, that this collection although technically owned by the city of Detroit, is held in trust for the people of Michigan. And any, anything, any asset held in trust under Chapter 9 bankruptcy cannot be sold, it cannot be ordered sold by the judge or the creditors to satisfy debts. While the museum remains mum about the value of its inventory, reports have suggested it could be as high as $2 billion. Two billion dollars may just be a fraction of Detroit's debt, but it's enough to pit many in the city against each other. While one side believes that it's more important to help pay off the debt and improve the lives of residents here rather than hold on to these artworks, others liken a possible sale to the pawning off of Detroit's identity and heritage. Li Ling Tan, CCTV, Detroit.